Well, I've been reading your comments on the new vlog, and I just wanted to do a little Q&A from some of those comments. I appreciate all the comments. Um, really good, positive feedback on the vlog. Uh, makes me feel good and encourages me to keep making more. So this is actually my fifth vlog. I've made five vlogs, five days in a row. I really enjoy making the vlogs. It's fun for me. I still feel a little awkward sometimes walking around with the big camera and taking it in the stores and places like that. So that's why you'll see whenever I go into places, it gets a little sloppy because I usually use my cell phone. But hopefully, you know, I get more comfortable. Hopefully I get more comfortable carrying the camera around and taking it into places. That way I can shoot a lot better footage for you guys. Like I said, I want to do a Q&A today. A lot of the comments are, are really good and really positive, so thank you. Let's see what we got. Alright, first question. Can you daily update the vlog? Yes, this is my fifth vlog in a row. I've been editing and uploading them on a consistent basis now for five days. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue to upload, hopefully every day, maybe not every day, but a lot of the days. So, watch out for daily vlogs, almost every day. Somebody commented on my crotch grabs. I guess I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a, a normal thing in my life. Half the time I'm sitting around on set and waiting, and you know you gotta keep your dick chubbed up, that way you're ready to go, so, I don't know, it's just a normal thing that I do. <laughs> Why the heck does this have an age restriction? Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious why it has an age restriction. A lot of the content might not be for 18 and older. Some of it is. I'm not going to show nudity on YouTube, of course. I don't want to get videos deleted or get kicked off. But the vlog is still about my life, Kissa's life, and we are definitely adult content. So that's why I have it for 18 and over just because I don't want to get in trouble for anything I put on it. Well, it seems like most people will really prefer shaved balls, according to the vlog number two. I got a lot of comments. Some girls don't really care, but I think shaved is definitely the way to go. This is a good question when I get asked a lot. Johnny, how often do people recognize you in real life? Well, I get recognized sometimes. I have to say, not a lot of people come up and ask me about it, but I do get a lot of people that stare at me, look at me longer than they really should, trying to figure out if they know me, where they know me from. I get that a lot. I know you from somewhere, but I'm just not sure where. Are you on TV? And I'm like, not quite TV. You might have seen me on the internet though. It really just depends where you are. For instance, if you're with a group of hot girls, People always look at the hot girls, look at the guy, and be like, who's that guy? Who are all those girls with? And that's when people will start to recognize you. Or when I wear the Sins gear, people recognize that logo. So I'll get recognized then, and it really just depends, but mainly I get recognized by younger guys, you know, which is the majority of porn viewers. Um, some girls sometimes though, which is, which is really cool when girls recognize me, I like that a lot. It's good to know that there's female porn viewers out there. But no, I'm definitely not a celebrity or anything. I can go to the grocery store, I can walk around, no problem. And nobody recognizes me. Maybe, maybe some extra long looks, but, but that's about it. Sometimes it's cool when you're just walking around and some dude's like, Hey! And just high fives you and keeps on moving. The way to approach myself or any other celebrity, pseudo-celebrity, porn star, whatever you want to call it, is just come up to you, say, hey, I'm a big fan, just wanted to meet you, let me take a selfie, and move on. Don't ask us a million questions about porn. We get that all the time, the same five questions about porn. Not to be a dick, but we really just don't want to answer those questions all the time. So just be cool, just come up and say, hey, what's up, man, I'm a fan. You know, love your work, let me take a selfie. Happy to take selfies with anybody. I love my fans, so thank you guys very much. Why do girls like bald people? Well, I don't know, just something about a bald guy. It's, it's very masculine to be bald. If you're bald, you're, you're like a real man. And besides, some of the best looking dudes and the most famous dudes are bald. The Rock, Vin Diesel, Bruce Willis. 
Jason Statham. I think it's something to do too with a guy like styling his hair and using all the gel and all the products and taking a half hour to do it. Just, just doesn't really seem manly. So when a guy just fucking takes a straight razor to his head and says, fuck it. If you are going bald, don't fucking do that comb over. Embrace that shit. Shave your head as early as possible. That's what I did. I started going bald when I was in my early 20s, exactly the same as my dad. As soon as I really noticed it and it, it was making a difference, I took a straight razor right to it and it's kind of just been my thing since I've been 24 years old. I've just always had a bald head. What other YouTubers do I watch? Well, some of my favorite YouTubers are Casey Neistat, of course. We got into watching the vlogs and really like his work, but I love fucking Casey. Plus he seems like a really dope guy, I mean, I would like to hang out with him, you know, who cares about the vlogs, he just seems like a cool guy to hang out with. I love exploring with Josh, I'm into abandoned stuff myself, and I got into his channel a while ago. I love that dude, he's just so passionate about exploring abandoned places, the way he does his vlogs, he doesn't care what fucking people think about him. I really like him if you like abandoned places type things. He's awesome, give him a follow. Another vlog I watch regularly is Sailing Delos. Uh, it's about these group of people that basically sail around the world in this beautiful fucking sailboat. They just dock at all these beautiful like private beach locations and it's something I'd really like to do. Unfortunately, I get seasick a lot. So I don't see that happening anytime in the near future, but Sailing Delos, check them out. Adrian Bliss, I loved his vlog, Vember. <laughs> Some hilarious shit on YouTube, check him out. One other YouTuber I watch a lot for tech reviews is iPhone Doe. I think that's what it is, iPhone Doe? He's this Turkish guy that does tech, tech review, tech vlogs, and he's really funny, I like his stuff a lot. So I'll watch his vlogs, regardless of what he was reviewing, it really doesn't matter, he's, he's pretty funny. And he does great reviews. Has anyone noticed I really suck at pool yet? I got this one. Wow, really good vlog, very professional. Really? I don't think it's very professional, but... I mean, I try my best with shooting and editing it, but it could definitely get a lot better. I would like to see you with a thick beard. I think beards are cool. I would like to have a thick beard too, I just don't want to take the time to grow it out. So I wish I could just like, fast forward six months and I'd have this thick ass beard ready to go. Here's a good one. What is your advice on getting women? Well, for me, I've always been shy growing up. I wasn't a ladies man by any means. There are certain points of my life where I didn't get laid for months at a time. And it's just because I was shy, you know, I didn't approach girls. I, I wasn't one of those guys that was a numbers guy. I just asked every girl out or asked every girl for her number. That definitely wasn't me. So I don't know how good I am at giving advice for picking up girls. If I wasn't out looking for it, it was much easier. If I was just out hanging with my friends at the bar, you know, you catch a girl's eye, and it was a lot easier than actually going to a club and being like, I'm gonna try to pick up a girl and fuck her tonight. That never really worked out for me. So I think just, just relax, hang out with your buddies. Girls will notice that. Girls will notice you're not at the bar trying to pick them up, that you're cool, you're just hanging out with your friends, you know, you don't care about them. Here's a great question. What's up with your Sins merchandise? Okay, nobody really asked that question, but I want to tell you guys what's up with it anyway. Uh, we've really just been so busy moving and shooting, and we haven't really had any time to add any new products to the shopsinslife.com website. Uh, we still have t-shirts and tank tops for girls and guys up there with the Sins logo. But we definitely want to add some more products. We've got to do hats, uh, hoodies, different kind of shirts and things like that. But yeah, I want to start adding products to it and really expanding our brand. We get a lot of positive feedback about the logo. It's not porny at all. It's kind of subtle. It's one of those things like, if you know, you know. Everybody compliments the logo when I'm out, even if they have no idea who I am or have never seen Sin's Life or even watch porn. They're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And it, it really goes well out here in Sin City. So watch for new products coming soon. I'll update you guys and let you know whenever we get some new stuff up there. If you have any requests, if you want anything, um, beanies, crop top shirts for girls, leggings, socks, I don't know. If you have any products you want, just leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do. 
Can we have porn on this channel just blurred? I don't think so. I don't know though. I haven't really looked up the rules of YouTube. I don't plan on putting any nudity or that sexual of things on it. So I'm really not concerned with it. But if anybody knows the rules and what you can actually put on YouTube and what you can't, please comment below. I know Vimeo lets you do artistic nudes, but so does Instagram. But anytime anybody sees our stuff that's artistic, it's not artistic. It's straight porn, so we get deleted right away. Do you guys think you could make sex toy reviews? Yes! We're actually working with a company right now to do some reviews of their products. We don't have the contracts all hammered out yet, but it's definitely going to happen. We have all the toys already, and they're really dope, so hopefully we can do those soon. All right, let me see, one more question for you guys. Well, somebody asked on one of our old vlogs, real talk, are you retired? And no, I'm not retired, I'm obviously back working. When we were in Hawaii for two years, I definitely took some time off. Kiss and I worked on our own stuff, we shot together and worked on our own website, but I didn't work for other companies too much. I always said I wouldn't do porn after I was 40. Well, I'm 38 right now. So, 38 and a half, I turned 39 in December. Probably after this year, I'll definitely slow down, if not stop doing porn for other companies and just work on my own company. Uh, Kiss and I will probably shoot our sex life and porn forever. Maybe not forever, but I can't really see us not shooting our own stuff and sharing our lives and our sex lives with everybody. But 40 was always kind of my cutoff point. I really didn't want to do it over that. We'll see though, you never know. Johnny, are you any good at pool? Hell no, I suck. The last time I had a pool table was, oh man, I couldn't even tell you when I lived out here with my buddies right after I graduated college. We bought a really cheap pool table for like 300 bucks and... Uh, nice. It of course was totally crooked. We'd pre-game and drink before we went out and play pool and it was great. But I've always kind of sucked at pool. Never really been able to concentrate all that much on it. And we had this space up here and figured, why not put a pool table in it? So we got this pretty awesome white and purple pool table. And hopefully I'll get better. This is not a paid endorsement by any means. If you're looking for a pool table in Vegas or LA, check these guys out. They were an awesome family owned business. So thank you, Gerard. Gerard's pool tables. All right guys, that's my vlog for today. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you tomorrow.